The matchups are set. Now it's time for playoff hockey. We'll preview the conference quarterfinals in this final edition of the NCHC Morning Skate, powered by the Rink Live. We begin in Grand Forks, where Penrose Cup champion and fifth-ranked North Dakota takes on Miami for the second time in the NCHC quarterfinals. They met in a single-game quarterfinal in 2021. The Fighting Hawks were regular season champs with a 15-8-1 record, finishing four points ahead of second-place Denver. UND is led in scoring by Jackson Blake. The first-team all-conference forward paces the NCHC and is tied for third in the country with 52 points. He also finished with 37 points in conference play, an NCHC record. Senior goalie Ludwig Person earned second-team All-NCHC honors for a second time after leading the conference in shutouts and wins. The Fighting Hawks are looking to bounce back after being swept at Omaha to finish the regular season. The losses snapped a four-game winning streak and marked the second time in the last four series that they've been swept. Miami heads to the Ralph upset-minded. The Red Hawks finished eighth in the NCHC for the third straight year and sixth overall after posting a record of 1-21-2 in conference play. It marked the fewest wins and points ever by an NCHC team. Senior Matthew Barbellini leads MU in scoring with 25 points. He's tied with teammate P.J. Fletcher for the team goal-scoring lead with 11. The Red Hawks head north looking to snap a 14-game winless streak. They were swept at Western Michigan last weekend to finish the regular season. North Dakota won all four meetings with Miami this season, including one in overtime in Oxford. Second-seeded Denver, currently ranked third in both national polls, hosts Minnesota Duluth in our second quarterfinal series. It's the second time the two schools have paired off in a best-of-three series. The Pioneers locked up second place in their split with Gold Pan rival Colorado College last weekend, taking the series finale 4-3 after losing by the same score the first night. DU is the nation's leading offense, averaging 4.89 goals per game. It's no surprise that it has three of the NCHC's top scorers. All-conference honorees Jack Devine, Massimo Rizzo, and Zeev Booyam are 2-3-4 and four in the conference with 51, 44, and 43 points, though Rizzo has missed the last month with an injury. Devine is tied for third in the country with 25 goals. UMD is the seventh seed after going 8-14-2 in NCHC play. The Bulldogs finished the regular season on an up note. They snapped an eight-game winless streak by sweeping arch-rival St. Cloud State last weekend in Duluth. Sophomore Ben Steves had two goals and an assist in Friday's 6-5 overtime win, including scoring the game winner, and he finished the weekend with four points to garner the final NCHC Forward of the Week honors. The second-team All-NCHC Forward is second in the NCHC with 24 goals and leads UMD with 34 points. Freshman defenseman Aaron Pionk had a goal and two assists in Friday's win and another point in Saturday's 4-2 victory to pick up Defenseman of the Week. These two teams played just twice this season. DU swept the series at Amsoil Arena. The only other playoff meeting between the schools came in 2015 when the Pios swept the Bulldogs in Denver. Number 18 St. Cloud State earned the third seed in the quarterfinals and hosts the sixth seed Western Michigan this weekend. The Broncos are actually ranked higher nationally at number 12 and 14. The Huskies had an uneven second half in NCHC play going 4-9-3 since January. That mark includes a current four-game losing streak following last weekend's sweep at the hands of UMD. Freshman Tyson Gross had a goal and an assist for SCSU on Friday and another goal on Saturday to pick up Rookie of the Week honors. The Huskies will be leaning hard on veterans Vidi Mietinen and Dylan Anhorn in this series. Mietinen leads the team with 17 goals and 32 points. Anhorn, a first-team All-NCHC defenseman, has a team-best 24 assists and is second with 30 points. Western Michigan heads into the playoffs fresh from sweeping rival Miami 3-2 and 6-1 last weekend at home. Those wins snapped a three-game losing streak. Like SCSU, Western is looking for more consistency after going 7-9 since January. Forwards Luke Ranger, Dylan Wendt, and Sam Colangelo rank 5-6-7 and seven in NCHC scoring this year with 43, 39, and 38 points. In goal, senior Cameron Rowe leads the NCHC with a 2.30 goals against average and is second in save percentage. He allowed just three goals to Miami in last week's sweep to pick up NCHC Goaltender of the Week. St. Cloud State won three of the four meetings with the Broncos this year. The two teams split their series at St. Cloud just three weeks ago, with Western winning in overtime in the series opener. This is the first ever quarterfinal meeting between the schools. Been on the road, we've historically been good on the road, and I think 
what you want is full and full buildings. No matter if they're cheering for you or against you, there's excitement, energy in the building. I think we're going to see that here this weekend. Our final series has number 12 and 13 Omaha visiting number 10 Colorado College in the 4-5 seed quarterfinal. It is the first ever playoff matchup between the two. The Tigers earned their highest finish and first ever NCHC home ice berth on the strength of last Friday's 4-3 win over in-state rival Denver. CC has arguably been the NCHC's hottest team in the second half, going 10-4-2 since January. The Tigers are powered by their sophomore class. First team All-NCHC forward Noah Lava leads the team with 19 goals and 35 points. Classmate Lev Varemyev is second with 25 points. And it's another sophomore, Caden Embarico, who has been outstanding in goal this season. The fellow all-conference first teamer leads the NCHC with a 918 save percentage and is second with a 2.38 goals against average. He's got all 20 of CC's wins in goal. The surging Mavericks have put a charge into their fortunes down the stretch. Last week, they swept their home series with North Dakota, their first ever sweep of UND. They've now won four straight and are unbeaten in seven, moving them not only to their highest spot in the polls, but also to 12 in the pairwise. NCHC All-Rookie Teamer Tanner Ludke leads the Mavericks with 25 points, while Jack Randall and Ty Mueller are tied for second with 24. Sophomore Simon Latkozy has 16 of UNO's 20 wins in net. The Mavericks are looking for their first ever berth in the frozen faceoff. These two schools played just twice this season. Omaha won the first game 3-0 and then came from behind to tie CC before winning a shootout in the finale at Baxter Arena. Here's one more look at the four best of three series with Sunday's games, if necessary. North Dakota, Denver, St. Cloud State, and Colorado College all play host. For the Tigers, it will be their first time. Every game this weekend can be seen live on nchc.tv, the official streaming platform of the conference. And visit nchchockey.com for the latest scores and stats from the penultimate weekend of the NCHC season, as well as information on the frozen faceoff. That's a wrap on this, the final edition of our report this season. Enjoy all the postseason action, and thanks for watching the NCHC Morning Skate, powered by The Rink Live.